Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join me back out on the bank and we're fishing for silvers on the stick float. Before we get into this week's blog, I just want to say a happy new year to everybody. I hope you've had a good festive period and I hope 2023 is a good year on the bank for you. So fingers crossed we can all get plenty of fishing done and you enjoy the blogs to come. So back to the fishing today, as you can see, we're fishing a tiny, tiny little brook and hopefully we're going to get some silvers on the stick float. The past week there's been plenty of rain about and the likes of the River Dane and the River Dee and the Severn and the Ribble have all got water in. So that is when I do turn to little venues like this just to come out and get a few bites and places like this, if you can find them local to you, can hold some surprises and hopefully we're on the bank with my uncle today, during today we'll get a few of those surprises on the bank. But at least we're out on the bank and we're fishing. Let's waste no time at all, let's have a look at the setup, the swim and how we're going to approach it. Fishing in a bit of an urban landscape, there's plenty of rubbish about as you can expect. There's the box and we're sat in the water today. All the setup there and that's the venue. You can see nice and narrow and normally it's about a foot less water in and it can be gin clear at times but today it's got a lovely bit of colour and hopefully if the rain stays off it'll stay this colour and we can get a few roach on the bank. Roach are going to be the target today most definitely. So the side tray nice and simple we've got quite a bit of white maggot probably two and a half pints there and far too much for today but we are back out on the bank over the weekend so they'll come in useful and then we've got probably about a pint and a half because you don't need loads of bait of that hinders hemp. Nice and simple tactics for attacking this little stream. Now feeding wise just going to be nice and easy feeding two or three maggots just level with me there the hemp just lining up with that little tuft there so the rod that we're using is the phase one rod from Corum and it's an 11 foot version these rods have been out now for probably a year maybe a year and a bit and for small venues like this they're absolutely cracking I've teamed it up with a switch reel with four pound line and as you can see for a small venue it goes about halfway across so it's perfect for this little brook got a nice light stick float a four number four so hardly any shot as i say there isn't much pace on it today so you don't need too much shot and with this you can just edge that bait nice and slowly through the swim that's down to a bulk shot of number four dinsmore weight and one thing you do need with this venue is a bit of finesse so we've got a one pound seven ounce hook link a size 20 hook and we're just going to start on a single maggot so while i've been setting up i've just been putting one or two maggots in only a two or three just to get a little bit of bait going through the swim and just going to trot down the middle to begin with and say sometimes on here you had to go you know near the snags when it was clear but with the colouring today i'm sure that that won't be an issue the float's just going through nicely, just holding it back. I'm just going to go over the top of that hemp there now. And there's the first fish. Right over where we've been putting that hemp. And that's exactly how you want to start a session, most definitely. And that's a lovely, dumpy little roach to start the session. So a bite first cast is always how you want to start. I'm getting too carried away, just a few grains of hemp and two or three maggots and just go back down and a little dip there and there's another and there's definitely one or two fish about just a little bit of hemp because all them bites have come on the hemp so far just edging that bait through just fishing just a tiny bit off bottom at the moment and that one must definitely come to the maggot because it was above the hemp so now it's just a case of taking it easy, not getting too carried away, just five or six maggots. The key is now is to try and catch them. You don't really want to put too much bait in because you could just be catching the fish that are just in this area to begin with. But it's definitely one or two about and this feels like a, a better one. And when you do find these little venues, the fish are always immaculate. Probably because no one's mad enough to come down and fish them. You can see we're sat in the mud today but the rewards are definitely there. And on a light 11 foot rod, lovely fishing. 
So now it's just about getting into a routine with it, feeding your bait nice and accurately, and then just edging the bait through and just trying to keep them fish in that bit of the swim. If you can keep them over your hemp, you can almost anticipate the bite. There we go. So this rod just long enough to hold them out over this inside foliage and say so it is perfect for this venue. And that's a dace. A little dace and definitely a bit plump and in immaculate condition. But what an excellent start to the session. And it is lovely fishing just off the rod tip. You see there. A bite of chuck at the moment. And what a cracking little roach that is. Oh, he's a bit of a hybrid in him. But from a venue that in normal condition you could literally jump over. And it just shows if you get out there and find the places there's plenty of surprises to be had. You say you don't want to get in trouble That you don't find cause you got me I don't want to break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see So with these little brooks, like I said earlier, things can just change really quickly and that is the beauty of rivers. After a bit of a quiet spell, it's the second nice roach coming in quick succession. Very next trot but into another one and as I say great fun on this little rod. You know you fish those big rivers and you have the big snags but on here these fish, they go right for this inside. And there's some venues that you only come every now and again and this is one of them. You know, if you come every week, it'd lose its appeal. There are venues that I do enjoy coming, but when I do come back, I always remember just how much I enjoy it, and maybe is a venue should come more, like I say. It just has that magic about it, being so small, yet, as you can see today, plenty of bites. And venues like this, are just the same as the big rivers if you've got a little venue like this by you they are great places for learning because they're exactly the same as the big river you've still got the inside lane the middle lane and the fast lane you've still got the slacks and all that type of thing but they're just a lot smaller on this venue when you go the likes of the ribble it's the same type of mechanics just on a bigger scale so they are literally great little places to learn the stick float you can see today we're going literally off the rod tip. You can hold right back behind your float. And we're getting the bites literally in line with the rod tip. So when I say about being great places to learn, what I mean is you're literally going off the rod tip. You know, you're putting your maggots there and holding that float back, you're right behind the float. So it's a great little venue for just learning the basics of stick float fishing. You know, how important it is to dot the float right down and holding back and today being right behind the float you've got full control you're just holding back and then when you let it go hopefully it's when you should get the bite there we go so by holding that bait back it's just fluttering up in the water that's when you get the bite and that's another one of those quality roach just coming over that hemp a lovely roach that is to end the session on let's have a look at that final net and see how we've done right so the session does come to an end there now as you can see from the final net we've had plenty of bites and some quality in that net as well on what has been an enjoyable morning on the bank so we really have enjoyed that session there today we've been getting plenty of bites on the stick float and that light rod it really has been great fun on that short session hopefully the video just shows what you can do if you get out there on google earth have a look around your local areas and venues like this one behind me it doesn't have to be massive to hold fish and you can really have an enjoyable day's fishing 
All that remains is to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing and I'll catch us all next week. Tight lines.